If you're anxious at work, that is not gonna be very fun for you in the moment, but there are some strategies you can start employing today to raise your self-awareness so you can start to understand why you're anxious at work. So the core of today's topic is to try to figure out what is prompting your anxiousness. So what is it? Are you not confident in your ability in the new role? Or are you anxious because you have to do a public speaking thing and you're not used to that? What's causing this? And this is where the self-awareness, so this is the first step in emotional intelligence, self-awareness is figuring out what is prompting that anxiousness. Is it worrying about some future event? Is it concerned with interacting with a certain person? Or are you concerned about an event in the future? Or are you just experiencing anxiousness when you're going throughout your workday? This raising your self-awareness is something that you need to focus on. And before you learn how to do it, you're not gonna be very good at it. So why would you expect to be good at self-awareness if you've never worked on it before? So you're probably in the part of the quad chart where you're unconsciously incompetent. So trying to move from unconsciously incompetent over to conscious competence is going to take some effort. And then once you get to conscious competence, moving to unconscious competence will make the effort lessen because you'll become unconsciously competent at it. And this is where we need to go. This is where your self-awareness is the very first part of everything that I talk about on this channel. So your emotional intelligence and then your social intelligence, they build off one another. So you need to have the IQ to get your technical or engineering job and then the EQ and the SQ to really put yourself ahead of the pack because engineers don't normally have the emotional and social intelligence aspects nailed because they feel they don't need to. Getting into strategies, trying to catch yourself getting anxious in the moment. So as it's happening, this is the self-awareness aspect here where you need to start seeing that, oh, I'm getting anxious right now. And then what's going around around you? Literally having the self-awareness to be like, okay, interacting with this process or this person is making me anxious. And then you can start to bring awareness to that, right? Instead of just being, oh, I'm, I'm anxious. It's like, no, no, something prompted that. Why are you anxious? So first you need to work on the prompt. So what's prompting your anxiousness? And then you can start working on trying to deal with it in the moment. Either calling it out, maybe taking a break from whatever you're doing to say, oh, this is making me very anxious, just one second. Whatever it is, and if the people around you are emotionally intelligent, you calling out your feeling and say, wow, that's making me pretty anxious, like one second, that will show that you are trying to better yourself and you're trying to raise your self-awareness. You don't have to overtly do that. If you are suffering from anxiousness or anxiety, calling it out like that might make it worse. In fact, it probably will. So you either need to figure out what your prompt is and then you can start to work to regulate that emotion. So regulate your anxiousness, which is, a video I'll put up here about how to increase your self-regulation. But if you have to interact with whatever process or person is making you anxious, there might come a time that you just need to have some exposure therapy. So you just need to lean in and expose yourself routinely to this thing to where it doesn't make you anxious anymore. And this thing could be around very powerful or attractive people. That's a very common thing that people have anxiousness or anxiety about. And just Exposure therapy, just exposing yourself routinely to this is a very effective way to help reduce that anxiousness or anxiety. What do you think? How do you catch yourself in the moment when it comes to trying to be more self-aware? I know I will personally call out my feelings if they're particularly strong in a tactful way where it's like, wow, this is really firing me up. I will call that out and then the group can either deal with it or I could just put myself on mute for whatever meeting we're going through because being hyper emotive is not something that's very productive in a technical environment. So if you're getting hyper emotive, you should rein it in. So you gotta regulate yourself better, but calling it out via self-awareness is very effective. So start paying better attention to yourself in the moment and learn what's making you anxious and start to work to remediate those things. I trust you've been paying attention to this emotional intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.